Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain use of join method in Java. So join method actually used to used in Java whenever a thread call join method on another thread. So calling thread has to wait until that uh, thread on which this join method is called will complete its execution. So let's say we are having two thread T1 and T2 and both threads are running. So if we want to decide their execution order like uh, after T1 execution T2 has to terminate. So what we will do we will call T1 dot join. So this method will ensure that on the on which on uh, whichever thread this join method is called first that thread will terminate and then that caller thread will terminate. So in this example I will demonstrate what is the purpose of join method. So first we will create a simple thread by implementing runnable interface. I will define a run method and in this run method uh, I will uh, make this thread to sleep for let's say 5 seconds. So I will use sleep 5 seconds and this sleep method can throw interrupted exception so I will handle that exception. And here I will print exception. Okay, so uh, I have defined that run method. Now in me our main class, we will write our main method. So here what we will do, uh, we will create first of all a extra thread. So how to do that, create a thread class object and here pass runnable object. So we will create an object of our class in which we have implemented runnable interface and then we will call start method. So as soon as we will call a start method it will call it will create a new thread and that thread will start executing run method. And let's say here we are printing print Allen. So this is the last statement. Here we will print main thread terminating. And in run method after sleeping for 5 seconds here we will print uh, new thread terminating. So we want to see which thread will terminate first. So we will compile our program and then we will run it. So if you can see main thread already terminated after terminating main thread that thread actually running independently once this uh, time period is done that thread execution also done and this new thread also terminated. So these two thread main thread and the thread which we have created this ph these two thread actually indep independently running and whenever one thread execution is done that thread will terminate. So what we want here is that we want that let, uh, let first this new thread uh, complete its execution and when this new thread is completed and after that allow termination of main thread. So what we will do here we will call join method. So this join method will ensure that current method will not be terminated until unless this thread will be completed. Th. So now if we will see output. So we are calling here we are uh, executing our Java program. And just to wait, uh, we missed something. Wait, wait. Th dot join. Okay, we have not saved this program. Now we will 
a pilot okay so this join also can throw a interrupt as exception we can uh, use try catch or we can so this one let's say interrupted exception so this meaning of this throws keyword is that we are not going to handle this exception so now we will compile it and we will run it so if you can see this main thread is not terminating now it is waiting for the completion of new thread so now new thread terminating and then main thread is terminating so this is the purpose of join method a join method will ensure that current thread so right now we are in this thread this thread will not terminate until thread th completes execution thank you very much for watching